Absolutely. Yeah, yeah no, that was, uh, that's a good point. And so I wanted to dig in real quick, Ray, on you mentioned for your first KPI, it's attendance. So right. do you mean attendance uh, in your, I'm going to call it out of sport training sessions or that combined with in sport practices and games? So, so I was speaking on it more of like a, a strength and conditioning perspective, but mm -hmm. I think the whole concept, I mean, I believe that in every area of my life, you know, whether that be my faith, whether that be my relationships, you know, if mm -hmm. I, if I spend five minutes a day in the Bible for 365 days, I'm never going to have one single day that, you know, moves the needle in my life. But by mm -hmm. default, I've gotten closer to Christ in my relationship. Well, if yeah. I spend, if I send one text message every single day to a different parent of one of my athletes or an athlete or a friend, one single, hey, I'm thinking about you message doesn't do a lot, but doing that 365 days in a row, that, that has made me become a more gratuitous or, or, or a, a person that's adding mm -hmm. value to the life that's, that's the over time. And I think from a training standpoint, you know, the more consistently we train, and it's obviously different, you know, from an athletics perspective versus like my own personal training, where training is my sport, so to speak. But, you know, the guys that I've had that have stayed, consistent, whether that be twice a week, three times a week over the long haul are just, you know, by default, in my opinion, they're giving themselves a better opportunity to, to get to where they want to go. And I think the cool thing about consistency too, and, and that attendance that I talk about, the more frequently you attend, the less better you have to be at each individual session. And what I mean mm -hmm. by that is you have room yeah. for error because you're being exposed to the stimulus more times. You know what I say people all the time? is all right, if you only come to my gym once a week, I've got to throw, in order to give you the Zingler Strength Program, i got to throw a lot at you. I got Because we got to do upper, lower, jump, sprint, single arm, single leg. There's a lot going on. And again, we're talking about kids who have a lot of things competing for, for space in their brain versus if I can span that over, out over three days a week and I can focus solely on upper body one day and solely on lower body the next day and then maybe a total body type type lift on that third day, just by default, you've given yourself the opportunity to have to be, you know, less perfect in each of those three stimuluses, which is why I'm a big believer in splitting up the upper body and the lower body. And, and I know from time constraints and obviously in high school settings, sometimes it's essential to to have that, you know, total body type lift. But at the same time, again, if I'm dealing with kids that have a lot of stuff competing for their their bandwidth and now all of a sudden I'm teaching a hinge pattern and then now we're going to go to a barbell row and then we're going to go back to triceps. And then now we're coming over here to, to uh, a Romanian deadlift. You know, there's a lot going on. I don't, I don't like to superset. I don't like to combine. I, I want to focus solely on what's right in front of us. Mm -hmm. And again, I say that recognizing I have a little bit of leverage because I have the luxury of time versus sometimes in a setting that you guys might be in. You guys have a fixed amount of time where I can just tell Jimmy to come back next Thursday and we can focus on that one area more specifically. So mm -hmm. that has helped me to come out, kind of compartmentalize to where the kids can focus. OK, it's upper body. I'm not going to have to worry about much with my legs and this. And obviously all training is total body. When you look mm -hmm. at a jump or a sprint or, you know, people can't understand when we're bench pressing, you know, how I try to help them to understand their hamstrings and their hips are involved because driving your feet through the floor, they just view it as arm day. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. trying to break it down <laughs> to their, their understanding. Now that was, that was beautiful. Thank you for expanding on that. Cause I think there's sure. just a ton of good lessons in